Black and White is a 2015 Mickey Mouse cartoon that's currently on Disney Plus and when I read the description for this I kind of thought I'm going to have a lot of thoughts about this, I'm going to have a lot of say about, to say about it because it sounded like it would really appeal to me but actually while I enjoyed it I don't have that many specific thoughts which is unusual because it definitely sounds like something that I would absolutely adore. I liked it. It started off with Mickey standing outside the movie theatre getting ready to see Attack of the Heebie-Jeebies, which I think is a brilliant name. And he goes into this movie theatre and we see all of these characters, all of whom are black and white, um, like Mickey, getting ready to watch this cartoon. And when it starts, he becomes so terrified, he ends up scaring the black part of himself away so that he looks as white as a ghost, as the expression goes. And his... I keep thinking of it as a shadow, but it's not his shadow. The black part of his body runs away and he has to try and chase after it and try and track it down. And he keeps interacting with these jet black things, thinking it's his part of his black colouring. And obviously it, it's often not and he keeps running into various obstacles. How will he possibly be able to re reunite himself with the black part of his design? I have to say, I think he looks brilliant in solid white. There's something really great about the colour of him. And I just love the idea of him scaring himself so that he's literally white as a ghost. I really enjoyed that part of it. Um, the scenes that were set in the movie theatre, which is not actually that much of it, um, worked very well. It was very well animated. Mickey being pure white, I thought, looked you know, rather fascinating. It's obviously something we don't usually get to see with Mickey Mouse. And I really liked the shape of the black part of him. Um, it's not like a complete shape of him, but you can kind of... See, it, it looks like a shadow. Let's face it, it does look like his shadow. And I just kept thinking of it as a shadow, even though it's not actually. I enjoyed it. It was pretty decent. There was nothing about it that I thought didn't work. There wasn't anything specific that I would personally have done differently or wanted to have been done differently. But because it was supposed to be about a horror film and Mickey going to see it and being set in the movie theatre, I did think I'd have so many other thoughts. But honestly, I just... I liked it. I didn't adore it. It's not my favourite in the Mickey Mouse series. Nevertheless, I did still enjoy it and I do recommend it.